What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. It's been a little while since I posted. I am working on another video for you at the moment, but we are in the middle of a really cold snap, extreme cold for this part of the country, as is most of the country. I know everybody's experiencing some pretty cold temperatures. Let me know down below what kind of temperatures you guys are seeing. I just thought I'd bring you a quick update today, let you know how everything is working in this cold weather. So starting off in the garage, 6000 XP is making around 680 watts right now, give or take. It's a a little back a little after 9 30 in the morning sun is just coming up and we're just starting to recharge this battery i had it running all night last night running the eco solaris heat pump it did okay it did struggle a little bit last night we hit minus 22 degrees celsius which is about minus 5 fahrenheit this thing was running all night long at around 900 to a thousand watts and it kept the garage around I would say 50 degrees. I had it set for 61, that's the lowest setting. And I kept it around 50, 52 degrees. Um, it's just too cold. It's too cold for the garage. The garage is not insulated very well. I'll show you that in a few minutes here. But um, I also have the heat pump too close to the wall. I gotta move it out from the wall. It frosts up a lot more than the EG4 does. And I think that's because I put it so tight to the wall. I said in the installation video that might be an issue in the future, and I think it is. So I'm probably gonna move that away. So I'm going to show you a couple temperatures out here. This is the Kawitz thermal camera. They sent me this not too long ago. Pretty nice little camera. Resolution is 256 by 192. I've been playing around with this guy a little bit. Nice big screen on it. Works pretty good so far. So over here on the door, I have an insulated door, but obviously we have those panels in the middle that are not insulated. They are coming in around 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I also have a couple spots up here in the ceiling that I need to insulate. So you can see a big difference right there that corner is really cold it's sitting around 32 degrees on the drywall over here on the insulated side we're at about 46 so big difference there and then on the eco solaris we are pumping out around 85 degree air last i checked uh 83 degree air at the moment it's about 55 in here right now and it's ramped down a little bit actually i did have the big unit heater running over here you just can't beat gas heat in these temperatures oh my apologies it's about 58 in here so i have had this thing running you like i said you just can't beat the gas heat so it's uh it's still got a bit of heat in it from running about a half hour ago running on the little tankless boiler whatever you want to call it um i'll take you inside show you the eg4 and then we'll pop outside and have a look at the outdoor units and here is the EG4 12,000 BTU solar hybrid heat pump. It's running well, using around 840 watts right now. Currently, indoor temperature is 69, set for 72, and it is pumping out uh, right around 100 degrees. So it's doing pretty good, running at a pretty high stage. This thing usually runs a hair lower, but that's doing just fine. As you can see in here in the house, even with fairly decent insulation, I do have some cold spots along the seams, the corners of the house, corners of the drywall. We are sitting at around 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So like I said, early in the morning, a little bit of sun on these panels over here. Pergola panels are fully in the sun. Nice layer of frost on the back of them. I'll take you outside now. We'll have a quick look at the heat pump. So here's the outdoor unit. We've got a good puddle of frozen water underneath it from defrost. On the service valves here, we are sitting at about 78 degrees. It's about as good as we can ask for on a day like today. Over here on the fence, we are sitting at over, whatever that means. I don't know, maybe it's beyond range. It just said minus seven Fahrenheit a minute ago. And like I said, Eco Solaris heat pump is doing pretty well despite being too close to the wall. Gonna have to move that out in the future, extend the electricity off the disconnect there and give that thing a little bit more room to breathe. A couple of you have asked me in the past if I could give a quick rundown on this unit heater, so I will finally do that for you today. This tankless is actually tied into my house. It goes down here through the wall and inside, so I can run my domestic hot water on this tankless if I want to. I also have just a standard 40 gallon water heater in the house. Now this thing I got on Marketplace, someone was selling this as an air conditioner. They sold it to me for 200 bucks, it's brand new, it was the best deal I've probably ever found on Facebook Marketplace, but it's just a water coil. It's got a fan in the back. You turn up the thermostat here, clicks a relay. It turns on that circulation pump. I've got about a 10 second fan delay on there. And then this thing fires up and just blasts you with good, strong heat. Um, the condensate pump there runs into the house. 
and away it goes. Now one of the cons to this is it is pretty loud. That's why I like to run the heat pump overnight. It's just silent. You don't hear it from inside the house. This is right up against my daughter's room and you can definitely hear it inside. So it's been running for a couple minutes on the thermal. You can see we've got some heat going to the outdoors via the exhaust pipe and a nice red hot coil over here. It's only sitting about 100 degrees, but that thing moves a ton of air. It heats this garage up very quick. I can go from 40 degrees to 60 degrees in probably 10 to 12 minutes. It heats up pretty nicely. And down here we have the Thermomate electric water heater. This is tied into the 6000 XP so I can make solar powered hot water. That is off at the moment. It's just, uh, it's too cold out here and I'm using every bit of power we make to run the heat pumps rather than the hot water. And down here we have the star of the show on a cold day like this. This is the Rude 60,000 BTU 96% efficient gas furnace. You really take for granted how strong a gas furnace is until you get a cold day like this. Yesterday it ran for almost 10 hours total throughout the 24 hour period. And uh, I like my heat pumps, don't get me wrong, but you just can't beat a gas furnace on a really cold day like this. Well, it's about 10.30 in the morning now, and we're just making enough power to run one of these heat pumps fully on solar. By about 11.30 or 12, we should have enough power to run both heat pumps on solar and charge the battery. That's where the heat pumps come in so handy. You can do it for free as long as you have a good sunny day. For the last month or so, I have not had very good sun. This thing actually died on me while the state of charge was still showing about 15%. Um, if you're not getting good sun, you're not running this battery up to 100% once in a while. It doesn't calibrate the shunt, and you can actually uh, have a pretty big discrepancy in what the battery has versus what the state of charge shows shout out to gavin stone for kind of explaining that one to me i thought uh, i had a more serious problem i just had to get it charged so i did actually grid tie this i got to finish up that and put it in some conduit um had to run some power to it i went off grid as long as i could but this winter has been pretty cloudy hopefully january the rest of january and february have some sunnier conditions and uh, we make some more free power so let me know what kind of temperatures you guys are getting. Hopefully you're a Florida man and you just like watching cold weather on YouTube. If you guys are interested in any solar hybrid heat pumps or the 6000 XP, I'll have links to all that stuff below, as well as this new thermal camera. I will drop the Amazon link down below. You guys can check it out if you are interested. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.